Okay, so we'll start with just getting things set up so that everything works properly. And getting rid of pallets we don't need. Okay, so the main two pallets we want to have open are the tools. So if you look, tools there and solids. So these are the tools, these are the solids. Other one we use to spin the model around is the trackball. Show hide, let's just show and hide things. Edit objects, let's just edit parameters. Colors. Layer manager, no we don't need that open. Don't need that open. Don't need that open. Might keep that open. So there's what we've got open. And this is file untitled one. Next thing is to look at the preferences. And units, make sure we're set to millimeters. That I think we're all good. So could be anything, but we use millimeters in Australia. Um, so now I'll open up the This is the part we want to make, typical plastic bracket with a steel pin in it. It's quite a small part. Firstly, you need to be working in the top plane. So that top plane is these horizontal surfaces. Also, the, the Y and the X. Now, view, I'm viewing isometric. I've got shortcuts for going to these. I can go through the views using keys that I've set. But anyway, you can do it by view top, view left, isometric. Typically, I'd work in isometric. Let's expand this out. Okay, so every solid starts with either a primitive, which is one of these, which is a solid with drawn with no lines, or it starts from an extrusion or a lathe of some geometry. So again, we're working in top plane, even though we're in an isometric view. And we're starting from the origin, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, x, 0, y, 0, z. Pull out a rectangle. And down the bottom here, I'll give it a width of 40 millimeters and a height of 20. That's me zooming in using something like option drag. So, extrusion tool. I've got four lines here, which are all pickable separately. I drag over all of them. Oops, hang on. Just looking. I've got this extrusion tool set to mid plane at the moment. And I don't want that. I'll show you what happens if we do mid plane. So, it's extruded either side of that line. I want it to just go up, so at the moment it's gone. Total of 10 millimeters, so five millimeters either side of the line. Don't want that. I'll do that. Set it to vector. Drag over the geometry and click on a point and click on a point in Z direction. Distance I want five, so type in five. So it's 
So there's the base. Now I'm going to draw some more geometry on top of this surface using the edges of this surface to make the geometry. Parallel line tool. So I'll zoom in. One line, one millimetre. We'll grab the wrong edge. It's the bottom. Undo. Get the top edge. One millimetre. Two millimetres. Two millimetres. And missed it. Eight millimetres. Now what I want to do is hide that thing. So window show hide. Click on that, hide it. Click on that, 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 hide it. Now I need to trim up these lines to make this perimeter. So not those ones. Corner. Trim trim and that ball nose fillet. Hold down shift no, no. just click, click, click. Now hold down in. So now show that base solid again. That. Now I want to add to it. So I pick this one. Add a profile to a solid. Up here it's telling me what to do. Pick a solid for protrusion. Pick that. Pick closed curves or polygon for adding. So and shift to extend. So that means hold down your shift key. I'm on a Mac. I don't know what it is on a PC. It'll say something different. Click line. Arc. Line. Line. Now. Specify two points for protrusion length, distance, and length. Click on two points here, it'll give me five millimeters in the z direction automatically. So I'll click on the bottom, click on the top, and there's that. Okay, now add this part. So I'm going to use the same geometry again, more or less. If I pick, hold down shift arc, that line, that line, that line, there's other ways of doing this but this works. I want to copy that up to here so I'm holding down option so I get a copy of it. Click, click, up it goes. Now I'm going to, while that's all still selected, select the base as well and say so show only. Now all the other geometry has gone away. And I'm going to move this back. So what I'm doing is picking the ends of the lines and holding down shift so I can pick two ends. That one and that one. Now let's pick the end of that line, the end of that line, and both ends of this line. Now I want to move them so they're still selected. Now I'm referencing off this geometry and move them back. So it's gone 11 and a half millimeters. I count it's picked a midpoint, snap to a midpoint. I want 10. And now show, I'll just turn this model back on again. That distance there to there is 10 millimeters. So I'll add that in. Another protrusion. Pick the solid, pick the curves, hold down shift. Now use this as a reference again. Up she goes, five millimeters, I want ten. Now I can say hide parents. Now hiding parents means hide the geometry. Hide parents. Now all we can see is that now I'll make it lighter. Easy to see what's going on. Okay, so I'll just sh bring this around. Now that is an eight millimeter hole, and that is a six millimeter hole. 
and that is in the middle of that surface and that is concentric with that arc. So still in top plane. I'm going to draw a circle. So it's just found the center of that circle, eight millimeters. And to find the center of this, a few things I could do. I find the easiest way is just draw a line on. So there's a 10 millimeter line in the middle there, and then snap to the middle of that. Draw out a circle, type in the diameter six. There it is. Pick that line, delete it, don't need it again. Okay, so it's just showing me. If I right click it, I can say transparency. Now I can see into it. Okay, I'm going to cut two holes separately. Pick the solid for cutout, that's that. Pick the curve, that's that one. Use a reference. Okay, it's gone down five millimeters. I want it to go right through, which would be 20 or 100 or whatever you like. It's going to be through. And do the same again for this one. Pick that and that. That'll go through. Nearly there. I want to make the pin so I'll get a new circle. Put it in there. I'm going to extrude it up, not as a protrusion, I don't want it to be a separate piece, so a new extrusion. Height of, so that's snapped to 10, height of 22. There's that. I'll put some fillets on things. So, fillet, I could do chamfer or whatever. I could have also done the holes using a hole tool, but circle's good. So fill it two millimeters. I fill it that edge, that edge, that edge. Spin it around that edge. Top of that thing. Now show all. There's my other one, and they look pretty identical to me. If I just right click on the background, hide all curves, and right click on that thing, not transparent, and we're done.